All right, man. Listen. I wasn't going to do this. You know, those of you that have been watching this channel for a long time, you know I made the decision uh, a couple years ago that I'm going to focus on Sixers content, and uh, I'm just going to be an Eagles fan. I'm not going to, you know, give my takes as far as an Eagles content creator. Uh, but then I just watched what I watched tonight. And I was like, no, you know what? I got some damn things to say. I just witnessed one of the most ridiculous losses I may have ever seen as an Eagles fan. The Philadelphia Eagles just turned Kirk fucking Cousins into prime Aaron Rodgers under two minutes. I mean, are you kidding me? I ha You would have had to purposely play defense that bad on that final drive. I mean, it looked to me like they didn't want to win the game. It looked to me like they gave up. They weren't doing out. A minute and 40 seconds left, only because Saquon Barkley drops a, a, a wide open ball to seal the game on third down in the red zone. You give Kirk Cousins a minute and 40 seconds, nobody cares. Nobody's like, oh no, don't give Kirk Cousins a, a minute and 40 seconds. He's going to kill. It's Kirk Cousins, bro. And Kirk Cousins absolutely lights them up down the field to win the game. And to top it all off, Jalen Hurts throws an interception to put the nail in the coffin. You know what cost the Philadelphia Eagles? The very first drive of the game. Saquon Barkley, every time he touched the ball, not, not the first drive, they didn't give the ball to Saquon the first drive, the second drive of the game, when they were like, oh, I forgot, we have Saquon Barkley on our team. Saquon Barkley, the second drive of the game, excuse me. Nine-yard run, nine-yard run, nine-yard run, absolutely dicing him up, toying with him, doing whatever he wants when he touches the ball. Gets the Eagles all the way down the field. And inside the red zone, Saquon Barkley does not touch the ball again. And the Eagles go three and out in the red zone and go for it on fourth and four. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. Don't get the easy field goal to start the game, to start the momentum. And they end up losing the game by what they lose it by two points. Didn't make any sense. The opening drive of the game, Saquon doesn't touch the ball at all. And third and nine, we get a QB draw. Different season, different offensive coordinator, same playbook. I don't know if it's Jalen Hurts who's obsessed with the, with the QB keeper in the RPO situation and thinks it's he's still playing college defenses and he can keep the ball and run for nine yards in the NFL or, or if it's Nick Sirianni or who it is. But I, I, I haven't liked the play calling on this team for, for, for years now. It, it's, it's short side of the field sweeps, short side of the field screens, screen, 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 sweep, screen, screen, QB keeper. It's bitch made offense. It's what it is. It's not, it's not, it's not, Showing up, flexing and, and, and taking advantage and, and and showing who's you know showing who's the boss and taking control of the game. It's 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 playing everything safe, 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 safe. I mean, we threw forty nine screen passes to Britton Covey, who had him in a PPR league. Nobody, that's who. 
But to lose the game? To actually lose that game to the Atlanta Falcons? <laughs> And I'm not saying this, you know, any given Sunday, any team can win any Sunday. There's losses in throughout the season. But this team is absolutely stacked with talent. And I'm sorry they should not be losing to the Atlanta Falcons. Not like that. They shouldn't be losing to the Atlanta Falcons. I'm sorry. At least last year they started out the season, what, 11-1 or something? And we were still like, yeah, the play calling wasn't great. They snuck away with a couple wins. It didn't look pretty all the time. I'm a little bit nervous. But at least they were sneaking away with the wins. Now you're straight up losing the bad teams? (laughs) I don't know, man. I do not know. And Jalen Hurts, you know, system quarterback. I'll call him that at this point. Uh, two years ago, it seemed like the perfect system, and, and he and he looked like a top five passer out of the pocket. Lost his offensive coordinator and looked like Jalen Hurts of old last season. This season so far, nothing impressive. Impressed everyone with his legs tonight. You know, had some nice runs. That doesn't win in the NFL. Nobody cares. Michael Vick doesn't have a Super Bowl ring. Nobody cares. You got to be able to pass the ball in the damn NFL. You know, yeah, he had a touchdown to to Devonta Smith in the back of the end zone where he threw it behind him and he did a 360 to make a miraculous catch. Devonta Smith has been catching uh, behind the back passes from Jalen Hurts ever since Alabama. (laughs) I am absolutely shocked that they lost that game. I got one thing to say before I get out of here. Every single offseason with this team, we're always hype about the draft. We're always hype about all the signings. And every single offseason, I say, they didn't do anything at linebacker. They didn't do anything at secondary. Once again. People, what are you talking about? Avante Maddox, what are you talking about? Darius Slay, what are you talking about? This, this, is that. Look at that final drive, bro. That is some of the worst middle of the field and and, and sideline and secondary defense you could possibly find in NFL Films archives. We just made Kirk fucking Cousins look like prime Aaron Rodgers in under two minutes. That is an unacceptable loss for the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know what Nick Sirianni is going to say about it. But, you know, it's time to get serious now. You know what I mean? It's been fun for a couple years, all the fucking Allen Iverson t-shirts and pandering to the fans and standing up and taunting the opposing fans, all this bullshit you've been doing. You're kind of getting exposed now. You know, pressure's on, man. I'm out.